My dad was in the local union in Arizona. He was uh, operating engineers. So I grew up in a union family. And I certainly um, respect the amendments where we have the right to assemble. And I also respect the um, inverse of that where we also have the right to um, freedom of association and also the freedom to not associate. Unions do a very good service and um, people find them a good value and join them but I'm not necessarily a supporter of a forced union because I believe in free association and you should have the right to choose. So I wrote these cards out for the last debate that we had, but the Senate voted 81 to 17 to pass Senate Bill 1177, um, a reauthorization of the Elementary and Secondary Education Act last Tuesday. Well, obviously it wasn't last Tuesday, it was been a while ago, um, and it's timely because it ensures that communities have ultimate control over their school districts and strengthen the relationships among school board members and parents. Now, nowhere in here does it talk about local school board members, unions, and parents. And a union is a separate entity. And I, for one, and I, I have no experience with unions at all, I dread the bargaining time, the time in time the, uh, the summer when we bargain because I have no control over anything and I don't understand. So that's all weakness. Well, that's a tough question. Good try. You, you did. You hit it right on the head. Uh, unions. I guess my problem is I think that open negotiation for salaries is something reasonable for taxpayers to be uh, privy to when negotiating salaries for public positions. Typically we don't. We don't have any clue what goes on behind closed doors during salary negotiations. And that's probably the one thing that I have uh, the most discomfort with. Um, I agree that uh, unions uh, have a place and provide a, a good method of bargaining because they can establish a bargaining position. But when they have a little too much power, um, we all pay for it. And I'm a taxpayer. Thank you. Well, in all of the things that I have researched while trying to prepare for running for this position, because this is all new to me, um, being a candidate, and I've been very excited to run for the position of school board. Um, and like I said, I have many friends who are teachers, and this is one thing that I have not um, been educated enough about to really have an opinion on. You're going in and out, so how close I'm just saying that I don't necessarily have an educated opinion on how I feel about a union one way or the other. I would want to be respectful and listen to their side, um, just as I would any other group or opinion, and it's something that I'm going to have to um, talk to other people about and research more and get a better idea of what I would be doing. Well, in my many years of being a, a teacher, um, I've, I've been on, on both sides. I have chosen to be a part of uh, the teachers' union at some points, and I have chosen to step away from them. Um, I, I feel uh, pretty close to what, what Sandy said. I believe in the right to assemble and to associate, but I also believe in that right um, not to. So I have a hard time with closed shops. Um, I have seen some unions do some really great work in their areas, but I've also seen times when, um, when there, there is too much power in it, both, both sides. I think that, that we really need to work diligently for a good sense of balance for, for everyone involved. Teachers unions. Well, I come from a South Philadelphia family, working class all the way through. My father was worked for Ma, Ma Bell, as we used to call it, and he was a union man. 
My brother still works down at the waterfront. He's part of the Longshoremen's Union. So I am definitely, in fact, on my sheet that I have, I am very much in favor of a strong teachers' union. I would support it wholeheartedly, not at the expense of the citizens of the district, of course, but uh, I, I'm a strong supporter of unions, and I make no bones about it. Closed shop, yes. Yes, I'm in favor of a closed shop. You can't have a union without a closed shop. So, you know, I think it's naive to think that you can have a union and it be up to the, you know, it be an open shop. You just can't do it. You know, so. Um, so anyway, that's enough out of me. Thank you.